Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to video number three out of the new uh, wave of Black Series figures surrounding Solo, a Star Wars story. Um, this is the Range Trooper. I recently just had a look at Grand Moff Tarkin and Han Solo himself. So if you haven't checked them out, go back and have a look. And uh, yeah, definitely interested to see what you got to say about them. So this is number 64, uh, Range Trooper. Affectionately already dubbed by fans as Pimp Trooper for obvious reasons. <laughs> That cracks me up. So on the back, a little right up here. The Imperial expansion requires the settlement of vital oper operations on remote outpost worlds. These frontier stormtroopers form a backbone of, st of stubborn defense against would-be thieves and pirates. So that, that artwork is cool. Really cool. So he's definitely a, he's definitely a miss... M m Bleh, a mishmash of some other some other troopers uh, the helmet sort of these side bits on the helmet uh, very much like the shore troopers that we got introduced to in Rogue One um, I feel like there's a little bit of a little bit of death trooper perhaps up through the helmet um, maybe a little bit of the old airborne clone trooper throughout the middle there too um, bit of snow trooper chest plate there. Um, yeah, some heavy boots. He's got some big boots on. But a great figure. I'm, I'm really, really liking this guy. I, I want to get a second one. Um, I think they look cool together. A couple of these guys. They're pretty tough. They're solid. It's a big weighty figure. Um, it was funny on the internet. There's someone, someone did this picture of this guy when he was uh, announced at Toy Fair, and. Uh, they got a bunch of pictures of other figures, like they had the head from the, the Shore Trooper, that from the Snow Trooper. They said this is just a kit bash from, you know, other figures. And they said the coat is from Bane from uh, the Dark Knight Rises. The boots are from a Mark I Iron Man figure. <laughs> and, you know, people actually believed it was true. <laughs> it was hilarious. Um... That cracked me up that people legitimately thought this is what Hasbro have done. They think they've just kit bashed a bunch of figures, some from lines that don't even theirs. Like I think that that Bane was Mattel. Um, so that that was hilarious. But no, nah, this guy is all new. Everything about it is new. Um, and it, and it's pr pretty pretty damn awesome. He's a he's a heavy dude. I like the helmet. I like the gold gold visor I think that's really really sick and the helmet's cool too almost reminds me of those I don't know what those hats are called they've got the sort of pad at the top the pads at the side then it sort of runs down the side of your ears I can't remember what they're called um, but just sort of that front of the hat makes me think of that for some reason but yeah these are obviously dudes these are going to be running around on Corellia um, being the sort of snow, rocky snow planet. So these guys are going to need to tra traverse some pretty rough terrain, I imagine. That's why they got the big boots, the cold weather gear, this woolly fur up around the neck, just for added warmth for these guys. So I'll just give you a bit of an overlook of this guy. He definitely feels like he's part of the Imperial Army, but also at the same time, uh, you know, like the block I said on the back, it's specifically sort of modified for certain areas of the galaxy. I mean, not standard stormtroopers just can't run everywhere. So the Empire's got to sort of adapt if they want to control these territories and, you know, whatever. They've got to, they've got to adapt their soldiers. So it makes complete sense. And yeah, these big boots, Check them out. Big mechanical boots. You know, they make me think of the um, your big ski boots with the, you know, strap them around. It helps you walk up through the snow. I haven't done it personally. I've, I've never been to snow, so I haven't seen any, any snow in my 30 years on this planet. Hopefully one day. But they're pretty tough. He's got some sort of strapping there on his legs. 
it's actually quite a soft malleable plastic there which is nice doesn't restrict articulation too much you can see they've sort of just turned the boots into you know disguise the feet within the within the boots themselves i doubt they've, these guys have actually got robot legs that'd be silly but you never know so yeah pretty solid looking dude good trooper and he just comes with this blaster which just looks like an e11 with a bit of a scope on top and a bit of a extended um thing there so it's a little bit different i'm not sure what it'll be called Excuse me, been a, bit, been a long day. <laughs> but yeah, his articulation, I believe this guy has still got the hinged neck. Um, you can sort of just see in there, he's still got the hinged neck, but it still allows for some good movement on this guy. Um, whether this was just early in the tooling process before they toyed with that idea, who knows? Um, but it still looks good. That I like the way they sort of moulded this in here under the arm, so when the arm sits down, it's sort of a bit straighter. Um, and still good range of articulation, despite the pretty solid chunky arms. Chunky arm figures generally struggle um, to get tight articulation like this, but they've done well. I think it looks. I think they've done a pretty good job. He's got sort of the torso joint there under the armor, so that sort of disguises nicely. Yeah, he's just a solid trooper, but yeah, same with the leg joints. He's got the silver thighs, the hinge at the knees, just a single hinge on these knees. That's okay. And the ankle. There seems to be a little bit of little bit of pivot room in there. So you get a little bit of movement. Not a great deal, but he's a he's a good trooper. So what do you what do you guys think of this guy? He's a little bit of fluff starting to fray. Let me know what you think of this guy. He's 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 pimping, that's for sure. He is awesome. He's a tough looking looking guy. I wouldn't want to get into a one on one with him. But if he's like any other stormtrooper, he's not going to be able to shoot you anyway. So. <laughs> Yeah, definitely a worthy addition to the uh, Imperial ranks and the collection of action figures. So, drop a comment below. Tell me what you think. Next up, last finally, we've got uh, Lando Calrissian coming up from Solo: Star Wars Story. So, stay tuned for that one as well. So, until my next video, guys, may the force be with you.